Big news, guys. You've seen the title. As of right now, it is January 26th. It's day one of the journey to selling my house. My very first place I've ever sold, very first place I ever bought. I don't know how the process works. I'm a little scared, uh, but we're putting on the big girl pants and we're doing it. I have been in LA for approximately six days and I will tell you when I booked my flight to come back here for the whole winter, I did not anticipate this outcome. But day two, I woke up in my bed and I just knew in my soul that it was time to sell the house. I've gone back and forth about this over the last you know, two years, I guess, almost two years. I always knew that when the time was right, I would feel it. I would feel ready and I would know. And I woke up day two and I just knew that this house was no longer my house. We have a lot to discuss. The why, the how, the how I got here, the what does this mean for your future in California? What's going on? Many things to discuss, but we need to first meet with my real estate agent, figure out what's going on, and he will be here in seven minutes. So we're gonna start the journey. I obviously want to bring you guys along. I want to share the whole thing with you guys. I can't believe this. It's so weird to think that by the time you see this, it's been done. Like, that's super, super weird. I feel very weird about it, but Let's see what my real estate agent has to say and go from there. Okay, so met with the real estate agent. Great guy, really excited to work with him. Here we are. I feel actually really good about it after speaking to him and I guess having him here and like actually talking about the logistics of selling this place, it's just given me a better grasp on the fact that this is what I'm doing. It's, it's definitely weird because when I bought this place, I had a different vision for what my life was gonna be. It's almost been like me having to accept that the future I thought I was going to have here is different and it's better. Honestly, I'm very, very happy with the way things turned out, but it's hard to, I guess it's just hard to say goodbye to this image I had of what I was building when I bought it. So let me backtrack and give you the why I am selling my house. I bought this place in 2019, it was July, I was so excited. I had finally decided I wanted to put roots down. I was at a place where I was ready to buy something and start my future and I thought that was gonna be California. I thought I was gonna be here for many years and you know, start my future here and the whole thing. And obviously, you know, that was 2019. 2020 came around and a lot of changes happened. Started off the year with a breakup with my long-term boyfriend and that was tough. And then right after that, we went into a nice little panty and we were in lockdown. I was living in this house by myself um, through that. And it was a really, really weird time. I mean, we all went through it. So, you know, everyone knows. My entire life changed that year. Everything that I thought I wanted changed. My priorities were different. And obviously I moved back to Toronto and I bought a place there. Over the last two years, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep both. I'm in a really great position at this point right now where I can do that, which is beyond me. Like I can't even go into that. This house has a lot of weird memories, a lot of really, really hard times, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. Obviously also has good memories, but the bad really like it sticks. There's a lot of weight that this house carries in me. I love California and I definitely intend on spending the winters in California for the next two, three years. I'm not sure what my life is gonna look like in a year or two or three or whatever, but I know right now that's what I wanna do. I wanna be able to spend the winters here. So you might be wondering, why would you sell your house? Honestly, this place is just too big. It's a place that I bought with years of future in mind. I knew it wasn't my forever home, but I knew that I was gonna live here for a long time and grow into this place and you know go through different stages of my life here. But having it just be somewhere I wanna spend three months out of the winter with the occasional week here and there throughout the year, it's too big. It's just too much space. It's too much maintenance. You know, like when I'm in Toronto, which is where I am most of the time, I'm always wondering, oh God, what's going on in the backyard? I hope everything's okay. Obviously I have cameras and everything, but you know, it just gets so dirty. And then when I come back, it's so much maintenance. Unnecessary maintenance. This is a family home, straight up. It just doesn't make sense to keep it for what I want to use it for. So that's 
one thing. The other thing is the housing market. So if you know anything about it, you know that right now it is a seller's market. Right now it is beneficial for me to sell it, but I still want the California dream. I am not getting rid of that. Like I'm, I'm living the California life half the year. That's just what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it in a way that just makes more sense for my circumstance, which is to get an apartment. I had thought about this when I was in my apartment in Toronto. I thought, you know what? It just makes sense to flip flop, have my home base in Toronto. That's my home, sell this place, get an apartment here gives me more flexibility. It's just the better option. So that's what we're gonna do. I feel really good about it. I think it's the right thing and it also just keeps the past in the past. It closes off this chapter because whenever I come back here, I feel like I'm going back in time. And you guys all say the same thing. Like I see so many comments all the time being like, oh, it's so weird to see you in that house. And it is, it feels weird. I really do feel like this chapter was closed a long time ago. The only reason why I'm currently in it is because I have this property, which is why we are selling it. And then we get to start a new version of what life in LA looks like. And I, I think it's gonna be really, really good. So that's the plan. We're gonna shoot the house next week. And then right after that, it's gonna get listed and then see what happens. Just time to close this chapter. I know we all feel it. So let the fun begin. I have been chaotically running around. My agent should be here momentarily and we are taking pictures of the place today. That's what's happening. Today is the photo day. We have been doing a lot of work to get this place in tip top shape for the pics, for the whole thing. Like today is the day where it's starting. Like it's legit happening. Once the pictures are taken, it's like, okay, it's gonna go on the market. People are gonna see them. People are gonna come here. I really can't believe what's happening. I'm a little stressed, a little chaotic. You could probably, um, you know, guess that from What's happening right now it just feels really crazy the last two days have been very overwhelming going through and decluttering and clearing up the space and making it look more of like a staged home it has been overwhelming to say the least this is a kind of a crazy process um but the place looks really good and the pics are happening today today is thursday and then i think monday it's going live for people to see stressed everything's fine that's what's happening Things went very quickly here and it felt only right to sit in our spot to talk about it. I mean, it's weird documenting every step of this because you're gonna watch the progression. Like obviously when this is up, you'll know, but right now is kind of what it's setting in for me. A week ago today, February 7th, we listed the house. The pictures were taken, they were beautiful. Pictures were taken Thursday and then it was listed on Monday. Like very, very fast turnaround. I didn't actually realize how quick this process was. Like once I spoke to him, it was like two weeks and it was gonna be done, you know? Almost exactly two weeks from the moment I decided to reach out to an agent and to it being sold. <sighs> okay, ha, ah, I have a lot of emotions about it. So as I said, Monday was listed and then we had showings throughout the week. We were actually gonna have an open house over the weekend, but some asshole on the internet decided to advertise that and it made me feel very, very exposed and unsafe. Obviously, like I'm still living here right now and for someone to, you know, post on Instagram, be like, look, these days you can go to her house. I didn't feel very good about that. So we canceled the open houses and we only did private showings throughout the week because I started feeling very, very uncomfortable with creeps on the internet, you know, like thinking it was fun to come over here and fuck around. Anyways, that was exactly the reason why I didn't want to share online that I was selling the house before it was sold. I was still living here. You know, it's just like a bit of a safety concern. Anyways, we just did private showings throughout the week. We had like, I think five different showings and we got four offers on the place, which is crazy. And I accepted an offer on Saturday. So it was like five full days on the market and then sold. Signed all the documents actually in Big Bear with all of my friends around and we were all cheering and stuff while I was signing it. And it was just such a crazy feeling. It's really, really bittersweet. I obviously have a lot of 
good memories and bad memories in this house, but I really love this house at the end of the day and I did not think I was going to sell it. I really didn't up until day two of being here. I walked in day one and I was like, okay, this is home. I'm in my other home and I'm gonna, you know, live here in the winters and it just was so apparent to me so fast. I, I just, I, I really cannot stress how much I didn't think I was gonna do this, which is why I feel so bittersweet about it. I think it, it's bittersweet regardless of if you're prepared to do this or not. And I definitely still feel like this is the right decision for me it just makes all the sense in the world but it is hard to think about saying goodbye to this place it feels very very weird and especially like having you know my boyfriend here we've built like really fun routines that we do and it's gonna be really sad but it does feel like this chapter closed in 2020 and I'm just finally now actually officially closing that chapter and starting a new chapter of my life where I have my home in Toronto. I live in Toronto, my family's around, that is where I am going to grow up. <laughs> but LA is obviously still a big part of my life. I have a whole life here and it feels right to start a new version of that life here. This home to me just embodies what I thought my life was, what my life used to be before everything changed. And so I just feel good about closing the chapter despite how genuinely sad it makes me. It makes me feel really sad. Now that I've like accepted an offer, we're in escrow, it feels real and it feels really, really weird. I'm gonna miss it. Like I'm gonna miss this house. It's still the right thing to do, but I'm gonna miss it. For anyone that has sold a house or is buying a house, I'm holding off on posting this video until all of the contingencies are removed and then I feel safe to share this, but it's been weird to not share this process as it's been going on, but for safety reasons and just so many reasons, like this is the way to do it. Tomorrow, the new owners are coming by to do the inspection. And then at the 14 day mark, all contingencies are removed and then I am safe to share. So this is where we're at. <sighs> okay, we can do it, we can do it. I feel like every time we're just like, Mess it up completely, <laughs> and then they have a whole new clean up. You feel it? I know. I on that. Okay, today's the day that the buyers are coming to do the inspection, so I am going to kind of remove some of my own stuff so that when they are inspecting, it's not like weird. We're just kind of removing and moving. I have a bunch of random stuff in here because I'm just trying to hide things for the showing. <laughs> like a disco ball, just your regular vanity item. where we've been hiding our mess, and now we have to go through it. Actually, I guess while we're here, I'm just gonna take apart the uh, TikTok closet. Thank you! Thank you! It's actually mostly like, fallen apart anyways, just over time. Like all the LED strips have fallen and whatnot. It looks a little weird if someone walked into their new closet thinking like, what the fuck went on here? So, RIP. Oh God, there's a lot of stuff in here. <coughs> Bless ya. Okay, here's some last looks. You can see it's all fallen apart. Look at the chalkboard wall. Cuzzo, that's from Matthew. It's hard to read because we kind of went ham. Um, I got your fans, not sure. I think it says Andrew. Oh, hyped. Andrew, hi, Brendan. Lots of uh, tic-tac-toe, Shell Bay, Katie. I don't even see Jill. Mom, we got Mom and Tasha up there. What does that say? Jilly is up there. It's sweet Jilly. Get it all in here. Gotta take it all out. I am not having fun. <laughs> it's 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> Okay, so this is my TikTok closet. Made okay. this in 2020. Welcome. Look, it was actually decorated really cute. Uh -huh. um, there was like LED strips around the ceiling. I love it. Different colors. Okay. And people would sign the chalkboard. But like you can see on the inside, like it's like a little cave and there was a TV back there. No way. And you could watch TV in here. Last person to sign the TikTok closet wall. Aww. Very cute. That was a nice heart, Sai. Cute. Okay. R.I.P. Really You're gonna have the pie now? It's 8.30 in the morning. Yeah. I'm down. Mm. I'm choked in by it. Mm. This closet looks weird if anyone just came into it. It's weird, it's a storage closet. Agreed, but like, 
You don't think you have to worry about that. It's really like the end of an era. Oh my god. posting this video, which means all contingencies were removed. Now we just have to wait until closing, but I'm going to start the process on looking for apartments. Slash, I've been doing that, I've been doing it. I just need to actually go tour them, which I wanna do this week, which I will take you along on the whole journey, of course. It's so crazy, you know, kind of watching this journey and seeing my emotions throughout it because I feel so differently about this house now that I did, you know, when I first got here and I felt like this was just like a time capsule of my old life and it was just like 2020 every time I came back here and it just felt like very isolating to be in this house and after being here for over a month with my boyfriend here and just like making new memories and new routines in this house, I do view it differently, honestly. But with that being said, I still feel really good about my decision to sell. I feel like this was the perfect time to do it while the market is still really hot. All of my reasons for wanting to do this are still reasons why I feel good about it. You know, like this place just being too big and too much to maintain every time I come and go. And and ultimately, I just don't even know how long I'm going to want to consistently be going to LA. And you know, life changes very quickly and I'm at an age where I feel like things do change a lot. So I do feel really good about this decision. I'm like really nervous to post this and like have you guys know because it's like been this really big thing that I've been thinking about all the time and you know working through having the buyers come in and do stuff. It's just been like a lot of things and I'm so excited to be able to just like fully talk about it. So next week should be apartment vlogs and like all that stuff. It's so crazy because people are always like you are always moving which is kind of true like I can't even deny it. <laughs> Obviously I don't like plan we ran out of space, but I've never intended on moving as often as I have. Just, you know, like life happens and things change. You know, I didn't think that I was gonna move out of this place in the first place. I thought that was the end of the moving vlogs, but it seems not the end. I've moved a few times since this move, which is crazy. My apartment in Toronto and then to my house in Toronto and now moving out of this place into another apartment. But this should be the end of it, like the final move for at least three years. I think I'm gonna find an apartment in LA and then I will keep that apartment until I feel like my LA chapter is closed. I feel like we still have a couple years on that though. So we're just finding a last little spot here in LA, something that's not as permanent as this place, but it feels really crazy. It's it's so weird. I'm really excited that you guys all know. Like I feel like I've just been holding this in and now I can finally breathe. I'm for sure gonna be sitting here at my desk responding to comments all day. So if you have anything you wanna know or anything you wanna talk about, I will be chatting in the comments. But we got a lot of crazy vlogs ahead. My parents and my brother are coming in, so they'll get to see this place one last time. My brother actually never saw it, so he's gonna say hello and goodbye. <laughs> and then they'll also get to see the new place, which is gonna be really great. It's just, it feels good. And I'm really glad that they can come here to like close this chapter with me and see it. They're not like helping with the moving, but they will see it before we close on the house. So yeah. That's what's going on, now you know. I love you guys so much. I hope you are excited for all of the craziness to come and um, I will see you guys in the next vlog.